Your neighborhood reporter for Michigan State's campus, Gabby Dunham here outside of MSU's student-only vaccination clinic. Up until this morning, Spartans could come get their Johnson & Johnson shot. But after recommendations from the FDA and the CDC, clinics just like this one are having to adjust. This is a recommendation and it's not a mandate. We worked quickly with our partners at Ingham County Health Department to quickly transition from Johnson & Johnson to Pfizer vaccines. We were able to do that successfully before our 9 a.m. appointment. If I had to guess, I would guess that that's not going to be a prolonged shelving of that product once they look at these six cases and figure out exactly what happened. Is it the vaccine? Is it something else? Is it some combination of factors? Friday, Governor Gretchen Whitmer called the Johnson & Johnson vaccine vital to the state's vaccination efforts. Tuesday morning, the Ingham County Health Department and health providers across the state have suspended all use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine following reports of rare and severe blood clots in patients who have received the one-dose shot. There have been six reports of a severe stroke-like illness linked to low platelet counts. Ingham County Health Officer Linda Vale said the department will await the CDC's investigation for more information. The Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices will meet Wednesday to review the cases. We've learned that we'll get about 4,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine, so we're continuing with that Pfizer uh, vaccine for our students. Um, appointments were already made available. Those are continuing to be booked up. Health officials say if you've received your vaccine and start to develop severe headaches, abdominal pain, leg pain, or shortness of breath within three weeks of your shot, contact a health care provider. We learned a long time ago that it's not just about getting COVID and surviving and life is grand after that. I know lots of people that are waiting for kidney transplants and, you know, at risk of getting their limbs amputated because of blood clots and things like that. So even surviving with COVID has a toll. So far, six cases of the rare and severe blood clotting has been identified in women aged 18 to 48 within six to 13 days of receiving their shot. Your neighborhood reporter, Gabby Dunham, Fox 47 News.